Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the 90s Guy Show. Today I wanted to talk about the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo's newest system, which has been doing very successful uh, with games like Zelda and Super Mario Odyssey, the Doom game, and a lot of third-party games that have been pretty successful as well. There's many things that will be coming out for the system, very soon. So my question is, do these games have replayability? Are these games that, uh, you know, similar to the original Nintendo that we could go back to and still have as much fun as the first time that we played it? <clears throat> Just as an example, when I go back and play Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, even though it's been many years, I could still pop in the cartridge and it's still a lot of fun. Some games don't exactly have the same replayability, such as, uh, like just as an example, I played Siphon Filter many years ago on the PlayStation. Good game, but after playing it, you know, so many times, it was one of those things like, you know, could I pop it in my PlayStation and still have as much fun as I first did when I first got the game? The graphics necessarily don't hold up too much. They have that very boxy, pixelated graphics, sort of like the uh, first one, two, and three of Tomb Raider. Uh, great game, great story, uh, fun for its time. But is it really something, you know, that I would want to purchase again? The answer is probably not. If I could get it really cheap, yes. <clears throat> but the biggest thing with these new systems and I've heard a lot of people talk about this, is the lack of re replayability. Uh, the new Sonic game, I watched a playthrough. It was relatively pretty interesting. I also watched a playthrough of the Super Mario Odyssey. And it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like something that I could play multiple times and have just as much fun as when I purchased the game. There's many different levels, there's things to unlock, uh, there's throwbacks to the original games. So this is definitely a game for the system that, uh, in my opinion, will be something that, let's say even 10 years from now, people will look back on and, and think, wow, that was a really good game. I'm going to pop that in and play it. Same thing with a lot of the Zelda games. The uh, Zelda Call of the Wild. That is also a game, from what I've seen, has a lot of replayability. Very good story, fantastic graphics. Uh, for, I've never actually played the game because I don't own a Switch. I'd like to own one one day. Uh, the last Nintendo system that I bought was recently the uh, Super Nintendo Mini. Before that, I still have my original NES and Super Nintendo from when I was uh, younger. I recently purchased the Nintendo 64. Some of the Nintendo 64 games, such as, you know, GoldenEye, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart, these are games that even have stood the test of time. Uh, Twisted Metal is another prime example of a game that you could go back and still have a lot of fun playing. But a lot of these games, I guess you would refer to as... Uh, you know, shovelware, filler titles. There was a lot of titles on the Nintendo Wii that I would probably never go back and play. Would I go back and play Just Dance 2? Probably not. Uh, would I go back and play games such as, like, uh, Red Steel? It was an okay game, but it wasn't something that I would actually go back and purchase, even though it's a relatively pretty cheap game. I never really got into the Pokemon games. Um... The Call of Duty games, even though they are repetitive, some of them, uh, I, I would probably go back and play uh, Black Ops 2. Uh, Advanced Warfare was not very good. It was okay, but the story was very short. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is Nintendo is really kicking ass when it comes to the Switch. Uh, a lot of people were worried that because of it being released and not having a lot of games at first, that it was not going to be doing very well. Uh, the other thing, which it, it, it's really weird that they went from a CD-based uh, 
to an actual cartridge about the size of a DS or 3DS cartridge. Is this something that Nintendo is going to stick with? Is this something that uh, could potentially, you know, require, uh, you could put add-ons to it? To me, it would have been interesting if they would have put the compatibility of the 3DS. You could play it on your Switch. I was very uh, skeptical of this system. I've played some demos at GameStop. I played one at Walmart on the kiosk. And it, the controllers are very easy to use. The graphics are very good on the games. And there are a lot of really good third-party games. So I will give Nintendo that. They have definitely knocked it out of the park. The Nintendo Wii U, on the other hand, there was a lot of confusion with that system originally. During the commercials, for years, I did not know that it was the new system. I thought it was an add-on to the original Wii. I thought you just bought the gamepad and you can play it. Uh, because even in the original commercial, if you look... It does not show the system, other than like a brief little uh, picture in the scene. It shows the system on on the uh, TV console. Other than that, you don't see the system. You just see the the gamepad itself. So they definitely missed the mark on that. A lot of the games came out later. The Wii U only lasted what like five six years. So what's the life cycle of the Nintendo Switch? Um, it'll be interesting to see how long this lasts. Uh, right now, with the other systems, you have the PlayStation 4 Pro, you have the Xbox One S, and I would say both of those systems will probably be around uh, before they come out with another one for at least four or five more years. It'll be interesting to see if that changes. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Like this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all later.